My wife sings her face off. And it's evident. In fact, in the video where I was supposed to be talking about Beyonce, the comment section actually filled up talking about Maya. Exactly! So I felt like it was finally time to talk about Maya, aka my imagination's voice. And what better way for me to geek out about my wife's voice than on her own song, Mirror. So it's finally time. Let's geek out about Maya's voice. Hello everybody, O'Neal Gerald Donald here. And if you've been watching this channel for a long time, I have been talking here and there about my wife, Maya. And you've been hearing her saying, She's absolutely amazing, one of a kind, and so what I decided to do was just take some time to geek out about my own wife. Can I? Can I? Yes, I can. It's my space. So let's do it. And really the reason why I wanted to do it is because now we have a format where we can really hear her on the song that we worked on together, Mirror. There is never a thought I'd be, but it happens so naturally. So what I wanted to do was take a few of the sections, a few of the runs, break them down for you, and let's talk a little bit about what Maya does when she sings. So when introducing a singer, I think the first thing that we will hear is a singer's tone. And the thing about Maya's tone is that, first of all, she leads with her head voice. So she's much more head voice dominant in the way that she creates sound. And what that actually produces is a very light, husky, and because she adds it, airy tone. Listen to that. She's so light in the way that she approaches her tone. And so we got to use that to really build a melody around the space where she usually would sing. And that's probably the second thing that I would really identify about Maya's tone. She's a soprano, like she's like a soprano, soprano. <laughs> and thankfully in the way that we wrote Mirror, we were able to use the higher sides of her voice. Like in the verses of Mirror, she already touches a C5. Oh, So her tessitura or the sweet spot of her voice is higher than that of the average female voice. Now, when you combine her light soprano with her head voice dominance, you're gonna get some wicked fast runs from her. And I would say the first one that you really hear on Mirror is on the word stare in the second verse in the background. Yeah, sing Maya. <laughs> Let's plot it. And I'll actually be using red for this one because she's more head voice dominant, so. Yeah, and what I love about this run is the change in vowel. So she starts on stay, on stay um, in the stare, but when she goes up into the higher parts of her range, she kind of opens up into an ah type thing, like almost like a, like an E-H type thing, like stay. So let's take this one half the speed. One, two. Yeah, and full speed. Here we go. Yeah, and you gotta love that syncopation. For me, I'm all about syncopation. I, just the the starting place, which just that quick offbeat. One and two and three. Say, yeah, right there. And what's cool about this run is we get a little bit of a response. This run was ascending, but we get another one that's descending. Yeah. Come on, Maya. And I love the vowels here because there's an opening on the very top of the run. All right, let's take this one at half the speed. Yeah, and full speed. Yeah. And what I love about Maya's approach to singing is that there are so many different sides, so many different colors. Like in the first verse, we were getting something that was a little bit more husky and airy. Something like a kaleidoscope. Where in the second verse, we're starting to hear the nature of Maya's voice when she starts to close the tone and make it a little bit more thick. Like take your time. Take your Time. Yeah, and this is where we really start to hear Maya's ideas start to open up because now she's starting to switch up the melody and we get this beautiful upward and downward contour. I'm reaching to your atmosphere, all the barriers disappear. <laughs> I reach into your atmosphere, all the barriers disappear. Yes! <laughs> Yes! I reach into your atmosphere. Break. 
oh. And then she really sells that syncopation. Oh, the barriers. And then she goes even higher. Disappear. That is an idea. And now we're starting to get more chest in the mix, so I'm going to change the color to blue. I begin to get atmospheric. Oh, the barriers. Disappear. And that last part is wicked fast. Okay, let's take this one half the speed. I reach into your atmosphere. Yeah! And let's take this full speed. One, two, three. I reach into your atmosphere. All the barriers disappear. Yes! Yes, baby! I remember when she did that when we were recording. Oh my gosh, this woman is wild. Honestly, the journey that Maya has had in discovering her own sound has been, it's been just such an amazing time seeing her flourish and blossom into her own artistry. And just even being able to walk through with her what it's like to actually say, you know what, I'm gonna actually open up with my sound and, you know, be myself, sing the way that I feel it. And I know that a lot of you are feeling locked up when it comes to actually expressing yourself vocally. You have ideas, but you're afraid to express them or your voice gets a little bit tongue tied, so to speak, when it's actually time for you to bring out those ideas. So what I've done is I've created a resource for you to be able to start to free up your voice and free up your mind. So I want you to head to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass. I'm giving you five really clear tips on how to actually open up your sound and actually speak to your audience. Because a sound like Maya's is a sound that's been fought for. And I really want to give you guys the opportunity to fight for your own sound and really hear what you really can do when your mind is free and your heart is free to sing. So I want you to go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass, watch the free training, and reclaim your voice. Reclaiming my voice. Anyway, baby, what else you got for us? Now there's a few more ideas and I'm gonna see if I can blaze through them, but when we get into the second chorus, there is this little thing that she does. Ever we fly, yes? Yes! Woo! <laughs> She's playing! Woo! Let's plot this out. So we got every feature. So she comes down the minor scale. And then off her every flaw. And I'm actually going to circle this note. Circle this note because it's special. Flaw. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm going to circle this note too because it's also special. Flaw. Uh, uh, uh. Brilliant. Every feature. Now the reason why I circled those notes is because Maya actually um, plays with the tonality or she really closely obeys the tonality of what's going on. So the chord progression for Mirror is right here, right? So that there's that weird little chord that kind of gives you like a little bit of a, hmm, that's nice, right? What she does is she hits that note, fly. But then, to lead back to where we're going, she flattens the note. And then, comes back down. Yes! Yeah! Let's take this half the speed. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah! And let's take this thing full speed. Here we go. Yes! Yeah. Listen, oh my gosh, her voice. Uh. Now in the latter part of Mirror, coming out of the bridge, we get this place where the music dips out and Maya sets up this last chorus. Let's see the moon. Yes! Let's plot this out, everybody. Let's see the moon. Yes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually signal when she's lightening her voice coming into the head headier parts and then when she's going into more of a mix. I'll use green to kind of signal that she's in a mix. Let's see the into the lighter part. <laughs> and then she brightens up the belt again. <laughs> And again, we're getting those very clear changes in tonality. See the moon. So smooth. Okay, let's take this half the speed. Right here. Yeah. 
Yeah! And let's take this thing full speed. Let's keep right here. Let's take it to Yeah. My wife is limitless. This run kind of picked up the song and picked up the energy, but I feel like the last run is where we got like the pick up and put down of life. Looking at me, you see it all. Looking at me, you see it all. Yeah. Let's break this down. Looking at me, you see off. Come on, vibrato. And then I'll kind of put this in green too to signal that she's kind of brightening the sound. Looking at me, you see it all, it all. That's a beautiful melody. Let's take this half the speed. Right here. And let's take it full speed right here. Yeah. Yes. And if you thought she couldn't go higher, she went higher. What? Yes. Let's plot this out, people. So she starts at the top. That's a D6. That's high. I, I, I definitely can't sing it that high, but then she kind of touches a little bit higher. And then this beautiful descent. Wait. And if you ever wanted to know how good of a songwriter someone is, listen to how they improvise, listen to their runs. This is a songwriter's run. Let's take this half the speed. Three. Yeah! And at full speed. Here we go. Two, three. Woo! This is my wife. I wear my wedding ring with pleasure. Woo! I love me some my imagination. And if you want to see me break down more riffs and runs, just click right over there. And of course, if you're new, subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we help you to reclaim your voice. Reclaiming my voice. Anyway, I'll see you all in another video. Bye, everyone.